possible so when they put the wig cap on and then the wig on it's not bumpy and there's something to secure the wig to. That's where I get my Botox from. <laughs> <laughs> You'll probably be able to hear in a little bit other people warming up in their dressing rooms. And it's funny, many people have many different styles of warming up. And actually that's one of the most, uh, it's one of the easiest ways to figure out who studied with which teacher. <laughs> and who, it's very funny, you can be at a competition and hear other people and you can't see them, but based on their warm-ups, you know that they study with your teacher. I was never much of a makeup fan growing up, nor am I so much of a fan now. Uh, on the way to church, my mother used to pass around a tube of lipstick and be like, put some on to all the girls. Oh, no. but, so this is fun. You get your chance to really dress up. And okay, then look up. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The time now is 7 o'clock. This is your one half hour call. 30 minutes, 30 minutes, please. The top of fall staff, 30 minutes, please. So, this is our fifth show out of nine, which is nice to do such a nice long run because, you know, over the course of your time, you feel much more comfortable with the tempos, with everything going on, and it becomes it becomes something different by the end of the show. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Fairly Scarlet O'Hara. <laughs> this is our own version of Gone with the Wind. So you also tend to warm up for the role. This role is much lower and also a lot of chest voice. Mm -hmm. So as opposed to some roles where it might have to go... 15 minutes, please. 15 minutes to the top of Falstaff. Once again, we're skipping the pre-show tonight. Thank you, piano skills, right about there. <laughs> 